Hi friends, once again a warm welcome to my YouTube channel Future Midwife. The second stage of labor and its management has completed in the last section. So today I will move on to the third stage of labor and its management. Third stage of labor commences with the delivery of the fetus and it ends with the delivery of the placenta and its membrane. Usually it takes 5 to 15 minutes but it can be waited up to 13 minutes if there is no evidence of significant bleeding. After the delivery of the fetus, the uterus get retract and the placental bed get diminished. So after that it start to expel from the uterus. There are two mechanisms will be taking place in order to separate the placenta from the uterus. That we called it as primary and secondary mechanism of placental separation. In primary mechanism, the total surface area of the placental site get reduced as the uterus shrinks. Whereas in case of secondary mechanism, there is a formation of hematoma due to vascular occlusion and a vascular rupture of the placental bed due to the contraction of the uterus. Next, I will explain about the method of placental separation. There are two methods of placental separation. We called it as Matthews Duncan method and Schutz method. So I will explain first about the Schutz method. Placenta separate in the center and falls in on itself and its descent into the lower part of the uterus. Fetal surface appears at vulva with membrane trailing behind. Minimal visible bleeding loss as a retroplacental clot contained within membranes. In Duncan's method, separation starts at the lower edge of the placenta, lateral border separate. Maternal surface appears first at vulva, usually accompanied by more bleeding from placental site due to slower separation and no retroplacental clot. I will explain once again the placental separation. So in Schutz method, the placenta will be separated from the center of the placenta. After that, it falls by its own and descends into the lower part of the uterus. So usually the 80% of placental separation occurs by this method. The fetal surface will be visible in the lower part of the vulval area. So there will be a minimal bleeding if the placenta separated by means of Schutz method. In Duncan's method, placental separation start from the lateral border and also here the maternal surface will be appears in the vulval area which is accompanied by more bleeding when it compared to the Schutz method due to the slower separation and also here there is no retroplacental clot formation. There are few signs which indicate there is separation of placenta already initiated. So while seeing this clue, the midwife can understand there is a separation of placenta already taken place. So these signs are the length of the cord get increased and the uterus become firm and globular and also it arises in the abdomen. Also there is a sudden gush of bleeding. These are the typical signs and symptoms which indicate there is a separation of placenta. After the delivery of the placenta, next is the control of bleeding. Normal blood flow through placental site is 500 to 800 ml per minute. The control of bleeding can be taken place by means of three methods. The first one is strong contraction or retraction of the uterus constrict blood vessels by interlacing muscle fibers in myometria. The second one is pressure exerted on placental site by walls of contracted uterus. The third mechanism is blood clotting mechanism. By means of these all mechanism, automatically there is a control of bleeding takes place after the delivery of the placenta. Next, we'll move on to the management of third stage of labor. The first one is guard the uterus to keep yourself and anyone else from massaging it prior to placental separation. Do not massage the uterus before placental separation except when partial separation has occurred by natural process and excessive bleeding evident. 
Do not pull on umbilical cord before placental separates or ever within an uncontracted uterus. Do not try to deliver the placenta prior to its complete separation unless in the emergency of third stage of hemorrhage. Wait for the natural process to occur and do not interfere. The expectant management include a hand is placed over the fundal to feel the signs of placental separation. The client asked to bear down simultaneously with the hardening of the uterus. If the placenta fail to expel, one can wait for up to 10 minutes. Soon as the placenta passes through the introitus, it is grasped by both hand and twisted round and round or slightly up and down with gentle traction, which is called application of controlled cord traction. Next is the expression by fundal pressure. This is done by placing four fingers of the hand behind the fundus and thumb in front of the uterus to use as a piston. The uterus is made to contract by gentle rubbing. When the uterus becomes hard, it is pushed downward and backward. The pressure should be withdrawn as soon as the placenta passes through the introitus. So next one is prophylactic use of oxytocin. The administration of an oxytocin drug at the time of delivery of the anterior shoulder. In therapeutic administration, in this method implies the use of an oxytocin either to stop the bleeding once it has occurred or to maintain the uterus in a contracted state when there are indications that excessive bleeding is likely to occur. The exclusion of complications of third stage of labor by means of continuing evaluation. Ensure that the uterus is well contracted. Slight lacerations are usually repaired immediately. The vulva and perineum are gently cleansed. Mother's blood pressure, pulse and temperature should be taken. Once the mother is comfortable, the placenta and membrane is the next priority. After the delivery of the placenta, it is very important to examine the placenta and cord. In the placenta, we need to check if there is any infections. So whether it is occurred recent or old. And is there any localized classification. And we need to count the number of lobe present in the placenta. Is there any placenta is left out in the uterus. So all those things we need to check after the delivery of the placenta. Apart from that, we need to check the placental vessels. The length of the umbilical cord and also the placental insertion whether it is inserted in the middle or in the lateral or whether it is attached to the uh, membrane site all those things has to be checked after the delivery of the placenta after checking all those things as a midwife it is very important to weigh the placenta and document it in the delivery note the remaining complications of third stage of labor and the newborn care will be displayed on the screen. Please have a look on that. I think we can wind up today's section. I hope I have explained the important content of third stage of labor and its management. So next class we will meet with an another episode of midwifery topic. Till that, take care. Bye bye.